This is an update video on a very small modification that you can make on this Francis shortwave kit radio that comes from Germany. If you've built this radio, one of the things that you've probably noticed is that its volume is not good. It's very poor on volume, especially on a faint station that you're trying to tune in. Uh, it just generally has low volume. Uh, this particular radio is a little bit unique in that it actually uses a tube uh, to help you tune in the stations. It's probably the main selling feature of this. It has now been almost a year since I put this kit together. It was a fun project, um, not necessarily for little kids. If they're going to be probably at least 12 years old, hopefully a little bit older, they're still going to need some help from an adult. Um, especially if they don't have any experience with soldering because this definitely is a soldering kit. So um, if you want a more complete review of this radio, please take a look at one of my other videos on this particular radio. So uh, what the modification is, is one that's very simple. And I can't take credit for this. I actually saw this in a video uh, from a uh, kind of electronics guru from Germany. His first name is Manuel, so if you Google Manuel Francis Radio, his videos on this will come up. The problem is, is they're in German. Um, so I watched it a couple times, and I will provide for you what this modification is and uh, some better specifications in the comments. So it's, it's pretty simple and pretty inexpensive. Um, this is the inside of the radio, which you've seen before. And it the modification involves adding a component, which is right here. And this is a small capacitor. Uh, this capacitor is 10 microfarads, and he recommended a 25 volt capacitor to do this. Um, this is actually a capacitor I salvaged from uh, an old kit that never quite worked right. So I thought, well, I can take a component out of it. This is a 10 microfarad 50 volt capacitor. Um, I don't think that's going to matter much. Maybe someone else thinks it will, but it does seem to be doing the job of increasing the volume. So where you, you place this little capacitor is on the integrated circuit. And remember that this is a rather hybrid radio. It does not just use components of the 20s, 30s, and 40s uh, to do the job of a radio. It does in the sense of a regenerative tube, but it doesn't in the sense of the amplification which goes through an integrated circuit. So this modification is adding this capacitor, and you can see I had to lengthen the leads here because I did salvage it, um, to pins one and pin eight of the integrated circuit. And uh, those pins are right across from each other. So it's not a little counterintuitive the way pins are numbered on an integrated circuit, something that I learned last night uh, in figuring out which pins I was going to use or what have to use, not was going to use. And um, that's the way they're numbered. So one and eight are directly across from each other the positive end of the capacitor goes on pin one, and the negative end then consequently goes on pin eight. And of course, you know the negative side of the capacitor is typically marked with a stripe uh, of some sort and a negative symbol indicating the polarity of, of the actual capacitor. So I just very carefully soldered that little capacitor on there on pins one and eight, 10 microfarad, and um, it, the radio definitely has more volume. Now this is daytime, so I'm not going to actually be able to get any stations. It's really a night radio, but even just turning it on, you can hear how much louder it is um, than it was before. So definitely it's a modification. Before I would just automatically crank up the volume all the way because there was really no other way to get any volume out of it. So I'm real anxious to try it out tonight to see how much better. And if I don't like the modification, it's about a one second fix to desolder uh, that component and, you know, say, hey, it didn't work for me. 
but it might be something that'll work for you if you have this radio. So I will, uh, in the description, put the specifications of the part and give you some more details on where you need to solder it in. So give it a try. Thank you for watching.